Today I'm talking with Tom Riley, the CEO of Automatic Forecasting Systems. They've just adopted the SIPMath 2.0 standard for their AutoVox forecasting software. This is particularly important because in the past, most forecasting programs have just produced a single average result, which leads to the flaw of averages. But now they can produce a whole distribution that can be used with the SIPMath modeler tools. So, uh, Tom, tell us a little about automatic forecasting systems. Well, thanks, Sam. We're real excited to be delivering uh, the first forecasting tool to be delivering a forecast ready for the SIPMath tools. Uh, about our software, our company, uh, my dad founded it back in 1976 with the idea of taking Box and Jenkins original code, the world famous Box Jenkins forecasting code, and manipulating that to create an automatic system. Great. Hey, so show us how uh, AutoBox works, Tom. Okay, I'd love to do that. If I uh, click on start and then click on AutoBox. And what we did is we gathered some data from the Bureau of Transportation website uh, called Emplaymans. And it's monthly data of people getting on planes. And we kind of just uh, skinned it down from the 20 years down to just six years so we can get a better view of it. And we're going to run AutoBox. And what, we, what we've done is we've created a file on the disk that's going to tell AutoBox how many forecasts to create. Instead of just one point forecast, it's creating a distribution of forecasts now. So here's the history and the forecast. What we can do now is email this file to, uh, to Sam. Thanks, Tom. I, I've received your email, and I'm now going to import your XML SIP library of sample paths into Excel. Here's the employment XML file down here. I'll click on that. It says save as an Excel file. Uh, you know, I'm not going to save it now because I'm just going to use it to demonstrate this. But of course, in reality, I'd probably want to save it and give it a name. If we look down here, we'll see the SIPs, one for each time period. I think there are a thousand trials. And I'm now going to build a model based on this SIP library by going to the SIP math tools. I'm going to initialize. I'm going to say the library is in the current workbook. Click that little uh, radio button up there. And then I click OK and it has created a model ready to accept that data. I'm going to go to define inputs and I have a bunch of forecasts in here so I will say pick the first 10. When I click OK I now have distributions in these cells. Let me select the data and just view it in a line chart and now I'm going to scroll through the trials, trial 1, Trial 2, Trial 3, Trial 4, we see the line graph moving around. I've got a thousand of these in here. You can sort of see what's going on with the first few. Most people don't make me go all the way to a thousand. So, Tom, we're, we're really excited to have the first time series package that delivers sample paths in the SIPMath 2.0 standard. I think this is really an important moment, and we thank you for your support. Yeah, and thank you. And uh, as you said, it, uh, there's, it's really a whole new class of data, uh, simulated forecasting. So, yeah, I'm very excited.